What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI, I have another Dell XPS 8900 and going to be upgrades. Show you how to do that. So first you're going to do this, remove the side cover panel and you're going to move the thumb screw here in the back. You're going to slide it to the left. And first I'm going to start off upgrading the hard drive. To do that you're going to disconnect the SATA and power cable and you're going to move the two screw or four screws here total. And you're gonna this slides off like to the left like this comes out. And I'm gonna be upgrading you guys to two terabytes 72 RPM. It's a 3.5 inch. Now you're going to connect the back to say the power cable to the new hard drive and you're done. And I'm going to show you guys uh, how to upgrade to solid state drive. To do that then you have to go ahead and uh, remove the hard drive cage here. It's in the bottom. So it's got two. Uh, one screw here in the top and two in the bottom you have to remove here. And one in the top right here. Just like that. And it slides out the hard drive cage like this. And what you guys have to buy is online, they sell this on the store, computer store. They uh it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. It's right here. And what what this will do is uh you can install two solar state drives in here or laptop hard drive right here. They sell this is a generic version. So 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch. You can install up to uh, two solid state drives here or two uh, laptop 2.5 inch hard drives in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go like this. And you're going to install the screws back. And the other side, uh, it's got two screws you have to install here. Okay, and that's how it's going to be installed like this. And we're going to connect it back. And to do that, then I'm gonna have to install another another SATA cable I have to plug into. So I'm gonna use you have to get an extra SATA cable. So if you're gonna be using the hard drive and solid state drive at the same time. Now you're going to install back the screws for the hard drive cage. Now you have to connect, depends, uh, I'm going to be using the main drive operating system then you're going to install Right back to SATA zero here, the cable, this one, uh, that one, you're going to disconnect the other one. And that's going to be the solid state drive right here. The main is going to go to connect to SATA port right here. To the motherboard, it's going to be SATA zero right here. That's where you're going to connect the main. If you're going to use that as an operating system. 
And the second one I'm going to be using is the hard drive, just for the storage. I'm going to plug in right in here. Now, what you have to do is connect the SATA power back to the Soul State Drive. And the hard drive right here in the top. Okay, we're done. Now I'm gonna be guys gonna be upgrading the memory. It's got a DDR using a DDR4 9CC uh, for desktop, 9CC and buff for desktop, DDR4 2133. And I'm gonna be using a match pair. The memory guys I like is the Carsair, Kingston, and Crucial. Those are the top three brands. So remove the memory and install a match pair. So you're going to hit two clicks when you install memory properly. And the, the slot right here, the first slot you're going to install is the Y1. This is the one number one slot and this is the another Y1. That's the slot number two that you can install the memory, a match pair, dual channel. So we install the memory. Now I'm going to be show you guys uh, be the last part is the VD cord. I'm installing right through PCI Express Times 16 slot right here, the blue one right here. Then what you have to do is remove this little latch right here. You have to use a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the bra right here. And uh, we're going to be remove the PCI bracket. And the video card, you guys, uh, the video card I'm going to be installing, guys, is. Uh, uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti and the power supply in here is actually it's a 400 460 watts so you don't have to upgrade the power supply I'll do a separate video show you guys that I'll upgrade the power supply but that'll be a separate video and installing the video card and actually this video card is using two PCI slots, so you have to remove another PCI bracket right here. You have to remove to install the video card. So the video card is installed. Now you can install this back. Okay, that's installed. Now you're gonna move the PCI bracket here, and that's how it's gonna look. The video card. Lay this down. So I'm gonna close the side cover. Side cover panel, and put the thumb screw back. And I'm going to show you guys the back side. Uh, let's see. And that's how it's going to look like when you install a video car like this. The video car is going to be installed like, like just like that. That's how it's going to look on the back. It's got two HDMI ports, one display port, and one DVI port. It's in full light gaming perfectly. So, yeah, guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.